Hi, I'm Ronnie from Four Wheeling in Western Australia. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enter GPS waypoints from our website into Google Earth. Now, you may even find GPS waypoints on different forums or even other, other websites or perhaps even a magazine that have them. Most of those you should be able to enter into Google Earth. Okay, so let's get into it. First up, we'll need Google Earth. So to ensure that we get the correct one, go to your Google search browser and type Google Earth. All right, download Google Earth. Now don't mistake Google Earth for Google Maps, they're two very different things. Okay, so here we are. Download the latest version of Google Earth, for PC, Mac or whatever. Um, follow the prompts, agree, download, do all that, install it. Once you've done that, then you have something that looks like that. Now, depending on where you live, uh, it'll be on your country and state. She usually hovers over that. Now, I know that we are going to work on the Harvey area as an example of entering Google Points. So I've got it up here already, Harvey, WA. I'll just type that in for a quick reference so it just takes me down there. So here we are in Harvey. Okay, I'm just going to zoom out a bit because I know the area we're going to work in. It's all around there. Alright, so now we need the points to enter. So what we do is back here to a Google search page and we'll type for wheeling enter for wheeling in Western Australia homepage. Okay, so 4x4 four four off-road tracks, 0 to 250 kilometers of perf. We'll click on that. We'll scroll down till we find the Harvey. Now, every single track in here has waypoints on them. Now, bottom of this page is where the waypoints are. So here we are, GPS waypoints for Harvey hill climbs. First one is meeting spot in Harvey. Right, so now we have located the page we need to use. So now we're going to go back to Google Earth and what we're going to do is this icon up here, we're going to click on that and that will put a place, an untitled place mark in the center of the view of the map that you have on your screen. Untitled place mark. So that's what, what we'll do here is we'll go back here and we're going to grab the name from here. Now this isn't super important. Control copy, so control C to copy back to Google Earth, highlight that, control V to paste, meeting spot and Harvey. Okay, I'll do this, so I'll, if I don't, if we don't put the name up here, we're going to end up with um, 14 waypoints of untitled place mark. That's just going to get too confusing. Alright, so back now we grab the super important stuff, latitude, go back to Google Earth, so it's another copy and paste paste, back in, longitude, copy, Google Earth, paste to Google Earth, alright ready, so when I click on OK, that mark will move to its appropriate place, there we go, so I went from here to there, now I'll do a second one, after that I'll pause this video and I'll enter all the other points, that way we're not going to drag the video out for too long, alright, so next point, here we go. Back here, Log Road Entrance is the name of the next one. Control C copy. Control V paste. Now I'm going to grab the latitude. <coughs> paste. Longitude. Paste. And there we go. Now we've got the first two. So I'll pause the video and we'll come right back when all the marks are in. Alrighty, I've now entered all the points and as you can see, they all form a invisible track around. Now you're going closer, you'll be able to see where the tracks are, which is the whole point of the uh, waypoints. The waypoints are the critical points of where you must change the direction usually there's there's an intersection or something or something significant like a bog hole or a steep hill climb or something like that now uh, 
some people will probably disagree about doing it this way. They'll probably prefer an upload of, um, let's say, a GPS file for a, you know, a HEMA GPS or a VMS. I would strongly disagree with just putting those up so people can upload them because what happens is if some people that upload them will just go out there they won't even know where they're going they won't even know what kind of terrain it is they'll just follow these spots blindly now if you have to enter the spots in like we've just done here I've just showed you how to do it you will physically be looking and connecting all the dots so you know where all the tracks are and you'll be taking mental notes wherever you realize it or not you'll notice that there's a little track here a little track there so if you should get stuck or lost or there's a tree blocking a track you'll have a general idea of how to get around this area or if there was a track back there that was joining up somewhere else like a detour now if you didn't do it this way you wouldn't know that and you just wouldn't want to be in a situation where something's happened, someone's injured, or you get lost, and you're you got a whole heap of cars behind you following you. It's it's not going to look too good for you. Okay, so now you know how to enter the GPS waypoints into Google Earth, and like I was just saying, explaining before, this will help you understand the direction you're heading, and if something should happen, you have a general idea of what's around and how to how to get out. So the best way to do it is to enter them like this. Otherwise, you're blindly going somewhere and you don't really know what is around. All right. Thanks for watching. Now don't forget, you can find us at YouTube, our website, fourwheelinginwesternaustralia.com, Facebook, and Google+. Subscribe if you found a video useful and any questions put them in the comments box below uh, we'd like to hear from you and i'll catch you out there see ya